Okay, I'm going to show you how to use the CloudCoin Foundations testing service. And so you should have already seen a video on how to install BlueJay and how to get this project going. It should work on any operating system. We're looking for this command interpreter here. You want to right click it and go to void main. It'll ask if you want to insert any strings or arguments and we do not want to so we can just hit OK. And then we'll get our terminal window. It says welcome to CloudCoin Foundation open source. The software is provided as is with all faults, defects and errors and without warranty of any kind. Then we've got something called start mode and you've got some commands available. We want to go into test mode. So I'm going to go ahead and type in test mode. The first thing it's going to do is echo the RADA to see which servers are up and ready to go. Uh, it's given 10 seconds to do this. After that it times out. And here I can see that all of the RADA are pretty much up. I can see how many milliseconds it took to contact them. I can see that the slowest one here is RADA 21, and I can also see that RADA 11 did not answer at all, and neither did RADA 20. So if we wanted to, we could choose to test the echo again to see if these servers are down for good or if it's just temporary. And it will run this again. I'm going to look and see if 11 is going to come back up. Again, it only gives you 10 seconds. If the server goes over 10, it doesn't matter whether it's up or not. And uh, it looks like it, uh, once again, uh, rate 11 is down, rate of 6 is down. It's just getting worse. <laughs> rate of six is, 16 is down. So uh, this is no good. This is actually uh, uh, my server. These, these servers, uh, they're on a really crappy server. And... Uh, so we got to get, these are ones that we need to actually get out and uh, put out there in the real world. Number 20 is Venezuela. That one should be up. So Venezuela, get it up there. All right, now let's go ahead and take a look at dump rate. A dump rate is a command that you can use to see information about the RADA server. So if I type in dump RADA, we'll take a look at RADA 0. And basically it gave us a whole bunch of information. It gave us the RADA number, all of the trusted servers. There's eight of them. It gave us the th four different triads that are required to do a fix. If three of these servers together give the uh, server a ticket, then that serial number will be changed. The authentication number will be changed for that serial number. Here's its URL and its backup URL, its name, its status. And there's a lot of other things like um, the location, uh, the image we haven't. Oh, you guys, please quiet a little bit. We can see the, uh, the flag images, which you'll be able to control later on, the protocol. And you'll see a bunch of other stuff that we haven't tested yet, so it hasn't come up there. But when we test the ticket, you'll see the last ticket, last detection status, last fixed status. You can take a look at this if it's any use to you. You can also see some of the raw code that came out of the, uh, the server. So this is what actually came back from the echo request. It's a JSON statement. And now we can either dump another server or we can press 25. 25 will take us out of this menu and back into the test mode commands. And so I'm going to go ahead and test hints. And so the hints are something that the client software does not interact with. But this went, uh, this is asking us what uh, we want, which server we want to test hints for. And it it loaded a test coin. This is the 127 coins, which are the test coins. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and test rate of zero again. This is what is sent to the RADA. And uh, I can see what it gets back. What it got back is simply the, uh, the serial number and the milliseconds to process. So this process, I'm sorry, the milliseconds that uh, how old the ticket is. 
And so this information is used for the servers to fix. And here's how many milliseconds the whole thing are required. But there's like 15 seconds that the servers have in order to finish the command. So this is good. This means that it was able to get some good data. And so rate of zero is working as far as its hints go. I could go ahead and test another one. Like if I put in a 23, it goes out and it's taking more time this time. It's taking a lot more time this time. And it says get ticket failed. So that's a bad thing. Uh, let's get another good one. I'll test 19. Okay, so that one worked. I can see uh, the serial number and the amount of time that it had. So I'd mark 23 down as a failure. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at, um, let's get out of this one. I'm going to type in 25. And now I'll test detect. And there is uh, the coin that is loaded again. So we know that that coin is good. Hopefully it's a test coin. And I'll go ahead and uh, test it. What number do we want to test? We'll test zero. And I can see that it's got a pass. It sent out a request. And actually, this is the, the response to the request. And um, so that's good. I'm going to go ahead and type 25 and get out of this. Take a look at the test get ticket. get underscore ticket. And again, it wants to, it loads a test coin and then it wants to know which rate we want to get the ticket for. I'm going to try zero again. It goes out and it, um, this is the actual URL that was sent. And this is what was received. And we can see that it got a ticket. And the ticket is in the form of this message here. This is the ticket. So this is actually a good ticket request. So we know that this works. I'm going to hit 25 again. And then the last one is test fix. So let's suppose that I wanted to see if the fix functionality worked. I'll try to fix number five. And it wants to know which triad that I want to use for the fix. And when the actual software works, it'll try each one of these automatically until it finds one that works. And so we're going to uh, try the upper left. And it goes out, gets a ticket, gets three tickets, and then sends a request. This one takes the most amount of time. And it came back and said success. So that worked. It was able to fix itself. I can go ahead and type in five again. And I can check its second corner. Again, these. Uh, fixes require the most of time because there's got to be you got to go out and get three tickets from three different servers put them together in one message send it to the rata and that rata then has to contact all those three servers get the uh, verify that the tickets are good and then this comes back and uh, this says that the trusted servers failed to help so this is not number five's fault this is because it had some trusted servers that weren't there to help it. And if I wanted to see what the trusted servers are, I could dump the raid and see what it tried to use for that second triad and uh, get an idea of why it failed. OK, so that's all of the fixed commands. I can type in quit. And I'm, oh, I'm sorry, i got to type in 25 and then quit. All right, let me know if you have any questions. I'm glad to answer them for you.